class. Obviously, that's not how you guys wanted to go out. How how was kind of the reaction for you um, personally in the days after the game, and um, how what do you been able to do maybe to refocus or at least move on uh, to now being the end of yourself? Yeah, it, it was a hard loss. I think just uh, the way it happened, and obviously so early in the tournament for us, um, it was kind of difficult. Uh, to swallow, so I think I just kind of wanted immediately to get out of there and kind of go into hiding and punish myself for a little while. Um, and yeah, I guess anytime you end a tournament like that, it's kind of it takes a little while to kind of get back on your feet and stop beating yourself up over over everything. So it took a few days, but after that, it's just kind of on to that next thing. For me, if you're not okay, so the the best athletes or the best teams or the best players on the field always look forward. But you have to also examine uh, what went wrong, what could be better. Um, so I'm at that point where I'm looking towards something new, looking towards you know playing with Thorns and doing well here, but also examining what our team could do better, what I could have done better. And so I think it's like a, a balance of both, and, and that's kind of what I'm going through right now. It was a dream come true. I was starting in games like leading up to the Olympics and so um, just mentally preparing for that and then um, starting my first game in the Olympics it was just a dream come true just to I mean I've said that I think in media for the past like years that that was my goal I want to play on the world stage and so um, and I did it and it was uh, like literally a dream come true. I mean it still hurts now I think it's gonna continue to hurt for a bit here and um, but I think the main thing for me was, you know, thinking of what's coming with Portland and, you know, that we still have another trophy that we can win this year and and how great our team is doing and how great they did while we were gone. And, and that was really cool for us to all see is, you know, how they came together and, you know, fought for a tie and a win. And, and that was really awesome. So, you know, that made me excited and that made me want to get back here even faster. And, you know, having a little bit of a break after, after the loss helped. So now we're excited. I feel like I left too early. Like I, I wanted to just continue, and I, I think I was so upset after the loss and so disappointed because, like, I feel like we didn't, we just were getting started, and it was just getting like to crunch time. I will linger for the next four years or whatever <laughs> um, until some kind of redemption or whatnot. But um, it's kind of just part of being a, an athlete is being able to move on and kind of having that short-term memory to start again and um, to kind of have that determination and motivation that you had before and to kind of find that in yourself and be able to find that out on the field. I mean, of course, like being in Olympics is amazing. And um, I was able to reflect a little bit on the plane ride home and just like take a breath and just um, just be so thankful. And, and it was an amazing experience. Um, but I'm also looking like, how can I get better? And, and what can I do? What do I need to do? Um, what could I have done better in the last game? You know, um, it's something that uh, yeah, is so disappointing, but it also makes me even hungrier. And um, it's kind of cool because you reach your dream and it's like, OK, well, you reached it. But I don't want to stop there. And I just want to continue to keep getting better and um, look to the next World Cup and Olympics and just keep grinding and, and yeah, staying thankful. Thanks, Alex. Yeah, Thank thanks, you, Alex. guys.